Hello guys and um, welcome to today's class. For today's calculator hack class, we're looking at how to use the calculator to solve problems on complex numbers. So I'll be showing you how to do addition of complex numbers, subtraction of complex numbers, multiplication of complex numbers, and even um, division of complex numbers using just your calculator. All right, so let's get um, straight into the video. All right, so here I have my Casio FX991ES Plus calculator. And um, we've already done a tutorial video on complex numbers, which I will leave um, a link in the description of this video to watch the video of complex numbers. But let's see how, to, how we can use calculator to work on complex numbers. So I have my calculator here. Uh, my first task would be to put the, the calculator in the complex number mode. That's your first task when it comes to using the calculator to solve problems on co complex number. Your first task is to put the calculator on um, or in complex number mode. So if I look at this now, if I look at the top of the screen, I can see D there. D means degrees and I can see maths there. So there's no complex there. Now observe that I have this button. Look at this button here. That is ENG. Look at this one here where your cursor is on ENG. If I look at the top of ENG at this point here, at the top right of ENG, you can see I there. And we said I, from my class on complex number, we said I is equal to the square root of what? Minus one. So observe something. If I press this button now, look at this. Observe that nothing is showing on the screen. Why? Because the calculator is not yet in complex mode. So your first task when it comes to using the calculator to solve problems on complex number is to put the calculator in complex mode. So I'll now put the calculator in complex mode. How do I do that? I'll go here. I'll go up to this point here. So you can see mode here. If I click on mode, you can see comp, complex, whatever there. So number two is complex. So if I come down here to two, if I press two, it's now, um, the calculator will now be in complex number mode. So you can now see CMPLX. This means complex. So I've successfully um, imputed the, comp the, the calculator in complex number mode. Okay. So the calculator is now in complex number mode. At this point now, if I come back to ENG and I press ENG, you can now see I there, which is uh, imaginary or complex number. So that means this is how you uh, put your calculator in complex number mode. All right, so, um, all right, so observe this thing, complex number mode. So my first task would, do, would be, let me add two complex numbers. Uh, let me say two minus three I, this one here. So this is, let's say this is Z1 plus, let's look at Z2. Let's say four plus five i. Now, if you if you watch that video on complex numbers, you know what the answer is here. We so say for the answer here, we just add the real part two and four. That will give us six. They now add the imaginary minus three plus five. That give you plus two i. So I'm expecting a six plus two i is my answer. So you come here and press equal to. So you can see six plus two i. So this is how you just do addition using um, the calculator. So that's all about the addition. Let's look at subtraction. Um, it's the same idea. I'll just shift my cursor here. I'll just change here from plus to delete. So delete this towards minus. So the, this also works with this, the same concept as um, the addition. For the subtraction, we said simply subtract the real parts. That becomes two minus four. That's minus two. And then I have minus three minus plus five. Minus plus gives you what there? Minus. So it becomes minus three minus five. That's minus eight. So I'm expecting a minus two minus eight i. So equal to, so you can see there, minus two minus eight i. So this is how we do um, subtraction with complex numbers. With the same um, example, let's go to multiplication. So if I'm multiplying this, so divide, delete this and change this to times. So this is how you can multiply two complex numbers. Just put them in brackets. Now observe I use the brackets. So always put them in brackets. So this times this equal to, so you can now do your own long work, but I'll just go straight to equal to. So see your answer there. I've already thought how we can multiply um, complex numbers in a tutorial video, whose, which um, I'll, leave, I'll leave the link to the tutorial video in the description of this video. So if you didn't watch a video on how to multiply vectors, just check the description of this video. You'll see how we can actually achieve these results with um, a multiplication. So I have this as 23 minus 2i is my answer. Finally, let's do division. So I'll come here, change here to, uh, just delete this, change here to divide. So division equal to, 
All right, so you can see the answer. Also, again, I've also done um, a video on how we can solve this, um, a step-by-step -step process on how we can solve this, all right? So you can go check the video out. Um, link will be in the description of this video. All right, so this is basically how we add, subtract, multiply, and divide complex numbers. So that's why I said, please observe that, um, observe that you, your first tax, as I said, is to put the calculator in complex mode. So if you're done with this, uh, let me show you something else that we can do. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you now is how to get the angle of a complex number, which is like the argument. We said the argument is equal to tan inverse of B over A, but you can simply get that argument using a calculator. Now, this is how it's done. So first thing is this, this. If I look at this, you see sheet. Look at number two here. Go to number two. Look at number two. Up of number two here, you can see CMPLX. This means complex. So if I press shift and then two, you can see number one. The number one says argument. So I'll press one there. So it means argument of what? I'll now type in the complex number. Let's say one plus I, because I know I use this in my example in, in class. And the answer was about 45 or so. So let's see if we have the same answer. So argument of the complex number one plus I is equal to what you get. So you can see, we see have the same angle as what? 45. So you can use this to get your angle faster if you have the time. So this is how it gets argument using um, a complex number or the argument of a complex number using a calculator. All right, so just simply type in the given complex number and this one, and you have this. Okay, so let me repeat this one again. So I says shift and then two. Number one says argument. So you now press one argument. So you now press the, you now input the complex number one plus I, close the brackets, equal to 45. So this is how you do this, okay? So you can test this with other examples. Let's also look at how to get, what's it called? Um, the conjugate. Let's go out to get a conjugate of a complex number. So it said the conjugate is simply to change your complex number or to change the sign of the imaginary part of the complex number. So this is how you get conjugate easily. So it shifts number two, compl um, number two here. That's complex. Now you now see this on your screen. So you press two. Two means conjugate here. So you press two. That's conjugate. Conjugate of what complex number? So let's say conjugate of one plus i. Close the brackets. This should give us one minus i because we said for conjugate, I simply want to change the sign of the um, imaginary part. So I have one minus i. So that's correct. That's how we do conjugate. You can see go back again. Um, okay. So to try this with another complex number. So this this um, number two here. So press two conjugate. So conjugate of what complex number? Let's say eight minus three i. So I expect my answer to be eight plus three i equal to so eight plus three i. All right. So this is how you do conjugate of a complex number. All right. So this is how it's done. Okay, guys. So um, hello, guys. So I'll show you one more trick on how to use a calculator to do things on complex number. And that's how to find the modulus of the complex number and also the argument. That's the angle simultaneously. So, for example, look at this now. Um, so, this, I'm typing in a complex number, 1 plus i. So, 1 plus i. Close this. Now, if I want to get both the um, uh, the modulus or the magnitude of, the, of this complex number and also its angle simultaneously, after typing this, what I'll do is this. You go to shift, press shift. After pressing shifts, come to number two, you press two. So you can see number three there. Number three says arrow, which is modulus, and then theta, which is argument or the angle. So if I press three here, you can see that I pl uh, one plus I, you want to change this to its arrow, that's its modulus, and its theta. So we did this in class, and the answer was root two, and the angle was 45. So let's press equal to, so you can see this. It gives you root two as the modulus and the angle as 45 so this is how you can get easily get the modulus and the um, argument of the complex number easily using a calculator all right guys so i think um, you can just explore this and try this with other examples so i think um, that's about this for this video perhaps i'll give you other things about complex number much more later so i've showed you how to do addition of complex numbers I've showed you how to do subtraction of complex numbers. I've showed you how to do multiplication of complex numbers. And I've also showed you how to do division and even find 
uh, both the arguments and the modulus of a complex number using just your calculator. All right, then. So I hope this helps you improve your solvings on complex numbers. Goodbye and see you in our next calculator hack class. Bye.